when money is not an issue anymore, when you want only one diagnostic tool to do it all, the biggest and greatest that Launch has to offer is the X431 Pad 7. Hello everyone, I am Bogdan. I help people upgrade their vehicles and that requires me having the ability to evaluate the health of those vehicles before and after the upgrade. This is where tools like these are quite a, a big help because they are giving me the freedom to go from different vehicles and have a tool that is able to do all of that stuff. The X431 Pad 7 is the top product from launch and it is meant to bring together all the technology that launch has under one device, under one tablet. It is able to do the same basic diagnostic tools as the lower end products but this one has some additional capabilities that I would like to address in this video and hopefully give you a better understanding of what makes this unit special, what makes this unit useful. To really understand what the Pad 7 is capable of, we first need to discuss the specs and the pricing, the SmartLink platform, the J2534 protocol, ECU programming, coding and even cloning, and the accessories that can be added to this tool to give it even more capability and only then we will be able to conclude what this tool is capable of and what this tool is all about. Everybody likes the specs and the Pad 7 is running really high-end specs, an 8-core 2GHz CPU, a 13.3-inch screen, 8GB of RAM, 256GB of storage, a 9360 mAh battery at 7.6 volts, which equates to 71 watt of energy, USB-C, USB-A, front and rear cameras, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and wired connectivity to the vehicle. Charging is done by a 12 volt port on the side. The unit itself is IP65 rated, agreed or something, and I wish you good luck in trying to open any of these things on the side. I needed a screwdriver to open that charging terminal. It comes standard, shipped with the SmartLink C version 2. This little box is capable of doing all the protocols. CanFD, DOIP, J2534, FCA, SGW, Reno, SGW, you name it, this one is able to actually do it. Pricing and where to buy it. This unit is in the 1600 to 2600 range. Prices will depend on when and where you buy it. I would recommend Amazon, AliExpress and eBay. Affiliate links will be available in the description and if you plan of using it or if you are using them, you will be supporting the channel at no additional cost to you. Also, keep in mind that when you buy these tools, you will be getting specifically for launch two years of free updates. After that, you will have a cost of £490 per year to get the updates and the updates might be necessary when you are doing online coding, online programming or accessing the remote diagnostic capabilities or even the smart link platform, the smart link capabilities. This brings us to this type of box and what it is capable of. It's not just an interface, it is a standalone unit it is part of a bigger system which as vehicles are becoming more and more complex technicians are struggling to have all the knowledge all the software all the tools so with this launch is trying to give a solution in which they are matching a complex job with a subject matter expert with the use of the smart link c smart link b and the platform in between the information and the communication is forwarded from here to the subject matter expert that can use whatever tools he wants, be it launch, be it OEM tools or whatever he wants to address that vehicle exactly like it was next to him. So you're having extremely capable technicians specialized in the vehicles that you might be working on at um, your disposal by using this type of tool. 
The interesting thing or another interesting thing about these ones is that you are able to use them even without the pad. So this unit connects to the Wi-Fi and after that forwards the communication to someone else to interpret and do the work. The J2534 protocol, this is another interesting feature. It started as a legal requirement for OEMs to allow access for emission related ECUs. So ECU, engine control unit and transmission control unit for software updates. This protocol has matured over time and now on some OEMs it allows even diagnostic capability, advanced diagnostic capability and allows garages to buy the OEM software for a day, for two days, for a few hours and get OEM level diagnosed. Now, should you have a copy of that software found somewhere, this type of box is able to still allow that connectivity and you are getting OEM diagnostics with this hardware. Only thing to mention is that you will need a separate laptop to run that software. It is not running on the pad 7. ECU programming, ECU coding and maybe ECU cloning. Here is where there is a lot of confusion that is taking place and people end up being disappointed. Modern diagnostic tools are advertised as being ECU programming, ECU coding capable. The big downside is many of the ECUs that are already installed on the vehicles are locked to that vehicle. The low level ECU programming relies on the use of a new unused ECU, which is kind of hard to, to find and expensive. So the more complicated tools allow the ECU cloning capability. And here is where the pad seven can be used with the XProg free to allow just that. With that additional add-on, you're able to copy all the information from an ECU and after that transplant it to the donor used ECU. And that might give you the capability of saving components or doing more complex jobs. I have in mind an automatic gearbox change the gearbox, if it isn't coded to the vehicle, the vehicle is very unlikely to drive. So a tool like this and that add-on might be additional, might bring additional work to your garage, to your process altogether. We touched on one of the accessories. Now let's see the other things that can be added to this diagnostic tool. As standard, we have the SmartLink C version 2. We need to consider or you need to know about the XProg 3 for ECU cloning, advanced key programming, EEPROM reading and writing, ADAS, ADAS calibration targets. The software is capable of doing, you just need the square shapes to position and to actually test. EV testing, you are able to buy additional equipment or the software packs, heavy duty trucks as a software pack add-on, motorcycles as a software pack add-on, the oscilloscope as hardware, sensor testing and measurements, battery testing, and the list goes on and on. Go on the launch website and see what other tools actually make sense. One of the other things that I've noticed specifically on this tool is a odometer check function. You might be familiar with the story of the big bad wolf that is taking cars and changing their mileage and selling them after that to unsuspecting grannies. This product is now featuring a function that can evaluate potential mileage discrepancies by interrogating multiple ECUs and giving you a report in which you are able to see what the vehicle knows about. If you are seeing major discrepancies between those values, you might conclude that a mileage correction event has taken place. I've tested it on my BMW, on a Honda Accord and on a Renault Traffic. I wouldn't say that is life changing, but on some specific applications, I really believe that this function has a lot of potential. Test it on the vehicles that you work on and also give me some feedback about your opinion regarding this. Other testing that has been done was done with regards to battery life. I've charged it to 100% and after that in a control manner, like for the other diagnostic tools, went and discharged it. This uh, unit was capable of staying alive for 7 hours and 45 minutes. Charging time is approximately 4 hours. I didn't go extensively in testing the basic stuff because at the end of the day, 
this is a bigger version of this so if you want to see the details of how launch products work i have a video on the x431 pro elite everything that is valid on this one including tips and tricks will be valid on the bigger brother this one is able to do it better than that other one overall what did i like about this one i liked the screen quality and the screen responsiveness the the touch capability is really good the software is stable the special functions are in the right place and quite effective the mileage checking function is interesting to have the remote capabilities are really advanced the ecu cloning is a potential deal breaker for some and overall this tool looks professional so if you have it in a garage it makes the place look even more professional it doesn't look like you save money on going for a lower end diagnostic tool at the same time the size of this unit is one of the disadvantages this is one of the things that i didn't like about this tool because after a certain point it is quite heavy and it is quite awkward to move around it is good to sit in one place but if you want to take it in vehicles in and out you might consider getting one of the smaller versions maybe have this one for the more advanced stuff and for additional technicians get the smaller versions i've also noticed that when you are setting up this diagnostic tool for the first time if your email address has been used on a different device it doesn't have it so make sure to use a fresh email for the initial setup other things that i didn't like if you're buying the software packs from the mall get ready to spend crazy money they're really really expensive if you're buying them from this environment so get in touch with the seller of your diagnostic tool maybe they have a deal that they can give you to get the software that you want as there is potential for additional savings to happen the size of the menu and the size of the buttons from the distance they look okay but if you need to keep this on the steering wheel they are kind of too much in your face so small things but there are some things that might be improved in newer versions i've seen that these guys are planning the pad 9 the replacement or the newer version of this one but it's not yet available for private purchase now what can we conclude we know part of the good we know part of the bad what would we say that the pad 7 is all about the pad 7 is a high-end diagnostic tool capable of handling the smaller and all the way to the more complex jobs it is interesting because it is allowing you to do local diagnostics but should you need to do something more complex with the smart link capability you're able to get experts far away somewhere and they will be able to support you in doing that type of job considering its capability of adding heavy duty trucks evs motorcycles various other add-ons adas calibration and other stuff it is a tool that is future proofing your diagnostic process it can be ideal for garages body shops fleet operators and any professional setting that might only want one tool to do all of their electronic and software stuff for home users i would consider it a bit of overkill because there are other tools less expensive with less hassle that might be able to do a similar job because realistically home users don't need ecu cloning and the really really advanced stuff tools like that one have been covered in this video and the tips and tricks to make best use of that one and also this one can be found here thank you for watching and see you in the next one